Well, hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this Alchemical Culture episode. I am your host, Phoenix Aurelius, and today we are joined by Dr. Dirk Jacobson from dentaldecoded.com and also a new product that he has released called toothterrain.com. I'm very excited to chat with him because his take on dentistry and uh, dental health is a little bit different than what you're going to get from a lot of the mainstream doctors. Um, and it's based and rooted just in common nutrition and lifestyle things that we can take control of more often than not. And uh, it puts power back into our own hands in order to be able to have uh, really good, solid dental advice from nutritional angles and from lifestyle and, and dental care angles and different types of things like this. So I'm extraordinarily excited to bring this on because the majority of clients that I work with have terrible teeth and they have cavities all the time and have to get fillings and mercury fillings and composite fillings and all these other things. And that leads to problems or root canals and all the other things. This leads to problems down the road as well. And usually those things are somewhat irreparable or very costly. So if we can prevent any of those things from this point moving onwards, then it can greatly enhance our life and the quality of our lives. And so I am excited to bring this subject up and to make this available to a wider audience. So with that being said, welcome, Dr. Dirk Jacobson, my dear friend. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you, Phoenix, for having me. Great to be on your show. Thank you. Yeah, my Thanks. pleasure. Uh, I yeah. absolutely love your work. In fact, maybe for some of our audience members who aren't familiar with your, your work um, in dentistry and with Dental Decoded, maybe you could go ahead and explain a little bit more about what you're doing and a little bit more about your background. Okay, yeah, well, uh, I've been into dentistry now for more than 30 years. I graduated in, in Hamburg in Germany uh, in 1990, and I was working in Germany for 10 years, and then I met my wife, Laura, from Australia, and I immigrated to Australia and uh, set my exams in Australia in 2001 to be also a certified dentist in Australia. So then we had dental surgeries in beautiful places in Australia, in Byron Bay and in Tasmania, both very beautiful places. But somehow we left Australia in the midst of COVID 2020, where Australia was a little bit uh, of an awkward place to be. And uh, somehow we were traveling the world for a couple of years in Mexico and we spent some time in America. And we then came to the UK and we decided to live here in the UK. And we've been here now for two years. I worked as a dentist here, but my main thing is also to bring also my experience to people uh, who are looking for a second opinion in dentistry and who want to look at their dental health more from a holistic point of view. And I've got a website called dentaldecoded.com where I offer my service in video consultations. And uh, so I see actually people from all over the world uh, who look for answers in their dental health. They send me their x-rays and some intraoral pictures. And then we have a casual meeting from the comfort of their home. We sit on their sofa and it's relaxed. It's not like being at the dentist, so the whole scary atmosphere of the dental office is taken away. And we just have a chat and they can offer their opinions. I can offer my opinions. We can go through alternatives with their teeth. I can give them some advice and maybe they have a treatment uh, offer from their dentist that might need a little bit of adjusting here and there to get it uh, maybe to, to, to up to scratch what the client really feels like he's comfortable or she is comfortable with. So that's what I'm doing. And then we've got this fantastic product, Phoenix, that we together developed, uh, which is uh, called Tooth Terrain, which is an alternative mouth serum where you had your impact in it, major impact. You created this wonderful product that we've been now selling for about six months. And uh, we've got excellent feedback. I clinically supervised some of my patients and the results have been quite promising, amazing, quite frankly. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So, okay. yeah, well, and thank you uh, so much for, for bringing up Tooth Terrain, actually, because I wanted to seg segment into that. Um, yeah, Tooth Terrain is a new product that you released. You contacted me. You heard it. Didn't you hear about me through Dr. Kaufman? Yes, exactly right. 
Yeah. So I knew about you from Dr. Kaufman. And uh, the reason why I approached you is because we were really, uh, I was actually for a long, long time, I was looking for, for, for a product, in a dental care product that was not uh, aligning so much with the conventional uh, products that are out there. And even the alternative products that are out there were not really satisfactory for me because I felt like they're not really addressing the real issue to to uh, see uh, healing from the inside out. They were all addressing still the symptoms of dental disease and they were masking somehow just what was happening in the mouth. Uh, and I wanted a more holistic approach. And I knew of you from Andy Kaufman, and I thought, well, this is the guy that might be the right guy for us to create a wonderful holistic product that serves the mouth in a more holistic way. And that's where we are at. It's it's out there, and uh, everybody I, seems happy. I was just over the moon, too, when you reached out to me about this, because I get all, all sorts of different types of people saying, hey, will you formulate this product or that product or this product? And a lot of them are pretty basic and pretty general and you know it's things that we do in order to make um you know make ends meet over here at the facility we have to take on all sorts of things that aren't really up our alley but this was up my alley because i'm so you know um many people might have heard me mention this before but i'm 37 now still never had a cavity or an oral issue i'm gonna knock on wood mm -hmm um but uh yeah my parents do so it's not great genetics all my grandparents did um in fact my grandmother had my maternal grandmother had all of her teeth removed by the time she was 14 they were so bad so um it's not that I have great genetics or the things run in my family it's that I have always probably accidentally from a from a young age just had great nutrition and good digestive fire to be able to absorb that nutrition wide variants of different home cooked foods that my mother provided uh, myself and my brother with so you know the nutritional aspect is extremely important to me but let's talk about maybe some of the approaches to dental wellness that are more holistic uh and preventative and in fact where does tooth terrain even fit into that and why is it um preventative uh, how could it help our teeth mm -hmm. our dental wellness yeah. okay uh, let's start with the nutrition thing i mean probably many of your audience know about weston a price weston a price was a dentist who lived in the u.s a hundred years ago and he uh, went out into the world and wanted to know what the what the secret of healthy people is and especially uh, healthy teeth because he saw in his career starting in the beginning of last century that uh, dental health was going downhill dramatically and he wanted to know why is this happening you know why suddenly uh, people decades ago were kind of all right with their mouths and, and suddenly with with the industrial revolution things went downhill dramatically so he went out to 14 different cultures he went out to the Aborigines in Australia, to the Eskimos, to the people in the Andes, to people in, in, in the remote valleys of Switzerland, and was looking at what, and he went there at a time where things were changing dramatically. Uh, and it was the time where some family members were living the old traditional lifestyle and other family members were often going to the nearby city and they were exposed to the food of commerce that's what western a price called it so they were suddenly eating not the natural food anymore but they were eating butter uh, they were eating jam and bread and all the sweet stuff that we are used to these days and their health and their teeth uh, they declined dramatically within within a few years so uh, and he was so what's the secret about the good food and the bad food and he came to the conclusion that uh, some foods were containing ingredients that were making people strong, healthy, and their teeth healthy too. And he was looking for, uh, what he found is that it was the fat soluble vitamins uh, that were causing uh, people to be healthy. And a lack of fat soluble vitamins was, was and additionally the, the bad food was causing the decline in health and in dental health as well. And uh, he was looking for one particular ingredient which he called 
factor x mm -hmm. yeah, he, he didn't know what no activator x he didn't really know what it was but somehow in the 70s 80s they found out what it was and it was vitamin k2 which was derived from uh, from animal fats and animal uh, dairy products from cows for example that were eating the grass in the growing season because the grass in the growing seasons contains vitamin k1 and the cows were able to transfer that within their body into vitamin k2 so the products the meat and the dairy products from those cows was containing vitamin k2 so it was not grain fed but it was grass fed grain grains don't uh, contain those vitamins so it's important to have uh, if if someone is trying to get good meat or good dairy it has to be uh, grass fed from grass fed cows so, so suddenly that mystery was solved so that's the nutrition part of it and of course we know that some all the toxic food that we get from the supermarket or whatever is detrimental to health uh, so tooth terrain comes into that because we were also looking uh, phoenix you and i we were looking for something that we can integrate which uh, also is ingestible so that people can ingest from that point of view these vitamins vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 uh, so that they get this nurturing from the inside out as well not just topically and uh, it's important that those two vitamins they, they come in a combination and they work synergistically because we know that for example vitamin D3 is uh, well researched and we know that the absorption of calcium in the gut is somehow activated by the vitamin D3 but once we've got it in the body, there is the body often is deciding where does it go, and it does not really know where to put the with the calcium, and it can really go into the wrong places. We know now it can go into soft tissue like the artery and the arteries, and it can clog up the arteries. And there has been research done that the arteries can clog up in a way where it can actually uh, cause uh, heart disease uh, because of the clogged artery because of the calcification. Now we need something that pulls it out of the that puts the calcium in the right spots, like into the bones and into the teeth, and that is what cal, uh, vitamin K two is doing. It activates some enzymes uh, that are doing exactly that job, pulling it out of the soft tissues and putting in it into the hard tissues, like the teeth and the bones. So that is one ingredient of tooth terrain. But see, my idea was also. I was looking for something more alternative because I was always a fan of traditional Chinese medicine and I am not practicing this but I've been always going to health practitioners to acupuncturists and Chinese herbalists who were looking after my personal health and I love that approach and that's why I approached you because uh, there was always, always the mystery for me what is Chinese medicine actually thinking about oral health and how can we sustain oral health? How can we support oral health uh, from the philosophy of tra uh, traditional Chinese medicine? And what can we do about that? Is there anything that we can put in a mouth serum that will support these things? And that was the idea behind me contacting you. So the, well, that's what's the starting point. <laughs> well, and that's really fun. I remember talking to you about that as well um you know from the chinese perspective then and i think this is very interesting the majority of dental diseases come from a zongzu pattern of uh poor spleen tea and basically in all of the studies that i've done with uh, idf clients where we have individuals where i've studied both their tcm diagnostics and i've studied their their Western based diagnostics and come down to terms and terminology and different things that are not reading at, at uh, IDF signatures that are normal. I'll take a look at those things and compare and contrast them. And every single time when I see a spleen T disorder, what I see in the Western system that goes along for that same person at the same time is low gastric acid production. And this usually has something to do with uh, gastric chief cells, um, sometimes it can also deal with uh, gastric parietal cells, 
but intrinsic factor as a gastric secretion or stomach acid, uh, you know, a gastric acid as a, as a stomach secretion, pepsinogen as a stomach secretion. Some of these different types of, of uh, secretions are not getting triggered properly. And so what's interesting to me about this and the nutritional angle and how this ties in is that if you have poor stomach or uh, sorry, poor spleen T, poor stomach acid, then basically what that means is that you can't absorb the majority of the materials of the foods that you eat. You could be eating the most nutrient dense foods, but there's always going to be two factors that determine how well we can absorb the, that nutrition, which is first our stomach acid or just gastric secretions in general, because intrinsic factor and pepsinogen are really important in that. But then we also have um, our microbiome to our, our digestive microbiome. And if those two things aren't in place, we could be eating amazing foods, the highest quality foods, and still not getting the nutrition that we need. Same thing with supplements. You could be taking the highest quality supplements, but unless they bypass the entire digestive tract, either through, um, you know, an adhesive or an injection or through some sort of sublingual absorption, you are not going to be getting your, the, the types of nutrition that you need. So the, the Chinese angle lines up and in Ayurveda and in, in TC or uh, the Ayurvedic approach in India, they take a look at various dental problems by way of uh, dosha or by way of uh, your constitution, the time of year and how that changes and, and uh, diet and all, all many different types of things can alter your doshas. But for instance, like vata dosha individuals who have uh, excess vata dosha are going to have uh, receding gum lines. They're going to have dry, cracked, brittle kind of gums and things like that. People who have kapha disorders are likely going to have more cavities. Uh, people who are pitta are likely going to have nerve pains and, you know, different types of things like that. So they can kind of break down what types of dental issues based on the dosha that is out of balance for the individual. But, you know, I think that it's really fascinating because the approach that we used with tooth terrain in its formulation, it actually does contain essential oils and herbal extracts that mm. are able to enhance spleen C and to help spleen C that are able to enhance digestive uh, capacity inside of the body and to be able to tonify gastric chief cells, parietal cells, other different cells of, of uh, uh, the entire upper digestive tract as well. Um, and to keep the microbiome healthy and in place. So if there are excess fungi or excess archaea, or which are methanogens usually, and that's a big problem from the Chinese perspective, is that when you have poor stomach, stomach tea especially, but spleen tea as well, but poor stomach tea does this, the, at the bottom of the esophagus, there's a little uh, sphincter there. And that sphincter, when it when it doesn't um, close properly, allows all sorts of vapors of mm. stomach acid. If you have methanogens or archaea inside of your digestive microbiome, then you will have methane being released uh, through this as well. Um, people who have uh, Helicobacter pylori uh, infections, which is a very common bacterial infection, they will actually have um, ammonia type smells coming out of their system. And that is also a bacteria that is found concomitant with every case that we know of, of low gastric acid. So mm -hmm. in the allopathic world at present, Helicobacter pylori is accused of creating an infection that attacks the gastric cells. I don't know if there's sufficient evidence for that but that's the way that it's viewed. We do know that it is found concomitantly with low gastric acid. So whether it's there to try and help balance the system in the absence of gastric acid or whether it's actually a culprit creating an infection, I don't know. Mm. But um, we do see those together. So all of the herbs that we have inside of there are helped to, to be there in order to address common bacterial um, imbalances. But it doesn't, like modern products do, and I remember, Dirk, you and I talked about this, we don't want to nuke the microbiome. And, and that's, that's the thing, even from, from the Western point of view. See, if you, if you uh, look at the approach of modern dentistry today, uh, how do we tackle gum disease? How do we tackle tooth decay? Well, uh, modern dentistry uh, somehow aligns to the germ theory model, which means there are pathogens, there are bad bacteria, they are causing tooth decay and gum disease. 
And uh, so what do we do with these bacteria? It's just like with a normal infection, like if you have a, a strep throat or whatever, you go to the doctor and he gives you antibiotics to kill the bacteria. And then the symptoms are addressed and maybe you are symptom free or whatever. But with dental decay and gum disease, it's the same. So you see a dentist, you've got severe gum disease. And what do they often do is then they, they, they clean teeth, but they give you antibiotics. So it's and tooth, toothpaste and mouthwash, they contain so many antibacterial products that are killing off the bacteria in your mouth to address the issue. But that's not the whole story because there's a lot of collateral damage. Our oral microbiome consists of now, they come up with probably 770 different microorganisms that you have in your mouth. And they, they normally, in a healthy environment, they live nicely together. They keep each other in check. They all have their purpose. They all have their function. They, you know, they clean the mouth. They, trans they get rid of toxic products. They uh, are responsible for the first step of digesting the, digesting the, pro uh, the food. So they are all important. It's only if the terrain, if the environment gets out of balance, that some of these microorganisms, some of these bacteria, they take over. And they, they behave a bit like a bully. They push everyone else out of the way and they multiply and then they produce toxins and then they, you know, acids and then they attack teeth or they hide into, you know, they cause inflammation in the gums and suddenly the gums, which are normally like a tight turtleneck around the teeth, but if they get swollen a little bit inflammatory processes, then suddenly pockets form and these bacteria, they then hide in deep pockets they are anaerobic suddenly, they are not, they don't need oxygen anymore. And then they multiply and then they sit in this kind of, in a toxic microenvironment. And then and nothing gets in there anymore. You can brush, but you don't get to the bacteria anymore. But it only happens when the balance of the oral microbiome is disturbed. And it gets, for example, disturbed if you put a, coctic, a toxic cocktail of mouthwash into your mouth. And it's not just that, because see, the oral microbiome is closely related to all the other microbiomes of our body. Yes. Like, for example, the, you know, uh, the gut microbiome in, into our gut, they say 80% of the immune system sits in the gut, whatever. You know, what that means is you swallow and you've got what you swallow is you seed whatever is down the track in the microbiome. So what what you if if your oral microbiome is completely disturbed because of toxic products, then you seed whatever is down the track with some sort of altered uh, microbiome, which is not the original healthy one. So it's it's not just about your teeth and gums anymore. It's it's you, the the starting point of your microbiome is the mouth, and if you mess that up, you mess up everything down the track. Mm. Now, so that that was the goal uh, to to have uh, have a product that is nurturing the microbiome instead of indiscriminately killing everything off. Yeah, and I remember when I chose the very particular botanicals to go into this. That was the goal, both in the amount that we provide, but in the science that was behind each and every essential oil. Uh, some people talk about saliva as the, the holy spit, you know, and you probably have a lot to say about that from a Chinese medicine perspective. But even even it's it's knowledge now in the dental community the, the benefits of saliva because it's actually the first uh, saliva uh, provides the first step of the digesting of the food because it contains enzyme that is digesting the food and it lubricates the food. So without the lubrication of the food, you can't even swallow it. And it can, you know, like it, uh, the saliva also transports all the uh, the minerals and the nutrients to the teeth, which are important for remineralization. You know, we live in a constant process of demineralization of the tooth and remineralization. So yep. we get minerals that are coming out of the tooth and getting into the tooth, and there needs to be a balance. And the the saliva provides for that. So if we have a dry mouth, for example, we we have a diminished demineral, uh, remineralization process. So there's a lot going on with, uh, with the saliva. It also uh, balances the oral microbiome. 
when we have healthy saliva, which is normally a little bit acidic, like between pH six and seven. So it's slightly acidic, which also prevents the buildup from, uh, from dental plaque. It helps it. And it contains so, so many things, even that we can, can uh, you know, like check out scientifically what's in there. Bicarbonate, for example, bicarbonate penetrates plaque and neutralizes the plaque. So there's a lot, it's not, not uh, for no reason called the holy spit. Yeah. So that's, that's live and the, the beauty about the product that you developed, and this is the feedback that I get, is that, and this is also my personal experience and your experience, you tested it with your staff and your family, that once you take the product, uh, even, even for a, quite a long time after you, you had the product and you swish it around, you still have some, some saliva flowing. It's yeah. still produced and it's healthy saliva and it supports your oral health, not just your oral health, but that's the wonderful thing about uh, this product that it activates the saliva uh, flow in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I I love that part of it, um, but we have so many great botanicals that are in there, and they're designed to keep not only oral microbiome balanced, but stomach and duodenum microbiome elements all the way into the intestine and to be able to be broken down gently. The amount that you would be consuming of any of the botanicals is so small that it's not going to be harmful to any beneficial bacteria whatsoever. But we have things like peppermint in there which are very very good for cooling down digestive fire for expelling uh, gas and flatulence for taking care of a wide number of things in the system um, that are hot and inflammatory in the digestive uh, tract we have some things that are warming inside of there like thyme, for instance for people who have too much coldness in the digestive tract so when I looked at this product from a formulation perspective, it was really, how can I get the entire body, what botanicals can I use, what products can I use that definitively just address the oral microbiome? And if it just ended there, that would be great. But how can I take a product that can go so much further and help to address these elements? And so going back to the saliva thing, um, I remember that we decided to include sea buckthorn oil in there because of the amount of phosphorus that uh it actually has and that's that's one of the coolest ingredients too because that's what gives that cool orange color to your product right yeah yeah, yeah. it's you quite intense that. and, and yeah. uh, you know like uh the sea buckthorn uh is quite amazing because also it uh, somehow there's quite some research out that it helps with mouth ulcers many people suffer from mouth ulcers and uh, that's also my personal experience because uh, I had mouth ulcers for quite a while, but ever since I used that product, I don't have mouth ulcers anymore. So I attribute that also to the tooth terrain and the sea buckthorn oil, uh, berry oil that's in there, which has um, wonderful properties and all the vitamins and uh, that come from it. So that's yeah, just yeah. I mean, it is so rich in vitamin A, which is again one of those fat soluble vitamins that Western Price was talking about. Um, and it's so rich in phosphorus and magnesium, and it has little bits of calcium in it, and it, you know, all of these other things from a micronutrient perspective, my, my thing was, if you're taking this one to three times every day, and it's primarily an oral product, so you can swish it around, you could spit it out if you want, but it's designed, it's not like oil pulling. You're not at this point, you've already brushed your teeth. You've probably already tongue scraped. If you're doing that, you're getting, you know, all of the gunk already out of your mouth. This is a final product to help balance and restore the gums. Oh man, it's it's so nourishing to the gums too. Um, when you take this product, like it really just it feels nice. It emanates. The flavor is delightful. Um, but yeah, it it will help to just kind of balance the microbiome. But just like it helps with oral ulcers, sea buckthorn berry oil also has this, especially there's there's different grades of sea buckthorn berry oil. We use the very highest grade in the formulation of this product because um, it's critical that you have the highest amount of nutrients possible and mm. the more raw that you can get your oil, the more nutrient 
that you're going to have. There's all sorts of different levels of refining and you know so on and so forth. We use the most nutrient dense in the formulation of this product in order to be able to ensure that we have high levels of vitamin D3 and vitamin A, vitamin K2 inside of the product, um, all of those micronutrients so that as you are consuming this product in little bits, it has an accumulative effect over time and you start to get these micronutrients back that your body maybe doesn't have or isn't able to digest. So for instance, um, with the sea buckthorn berry, a lot of people have a poor mucosa of the stomach. Sea buckthorn berry has a ton of medical research behind it showing how it restores the mucosa of many different internal organs when you consume either the berry or the oil. We have uh, the oil that has all of the pulp inside of it. So you're getting all of that nutrition and that's going to help to restore stomach health as well. So not only just the, the botanicals from uh, flavoring agents and essential oil components and things like that, but also down to the very oils, the quantities that, that we included them in. I mean, they're just designed to take care of so many nutritional aspects. Now, Dirt, it's my understanding that there's a lot of research now showing the importance of phosphorus in the production of saliva and how that phosphorus actually acts as an anti-carry um, forming kind of mechanism inside of oral health. Do you know much about that or, or um, do you promote phosphorus? I think that was one of the Weston A. Price things was right. You need to have healthy calcium, phosphorus, vitamin A, D, K, uh, or, you know, factor X or whatever, activator X. Um, and there's one, and E. Uh, so does that fit into your dental practice much at all? The, the yeah, phosphorus? Well, it's very important. The phosphorus and the calcium are actually the building blocks of the teeth. So the more you can somehow uh, give to people in the sense that they can, can accumulate it and that it ends up in the saliva, the better because it, it uh, somehow promotes the remineralization of the teeth. So phosphorus is, is great. And uh, now, what I also would like to mention, what we haven't touched uh, upon so far, uh, Phoenix, is that it's ingestible. Our product is ingestible. So you get the, the, the product, which is unique. You don't find any products on the market that are ingestible because uh, of the ingredients. So we've got food grade ingredients in our product that are ingestible, that are accepted by the FDA and any other supervising body so that it is ingestible so you get from internal you get the benefits as well as from the outside uh, and that's a, a unique kind of property with our and it tastes really well because you know the combination that you put uh, of the essential oils uh, in in the amounts they just work synergistically to to get a really nice taste and uh, it's also the taste factor that uh, contributes to the to the beauty of this product it's true yeah it's true yeah. every day after so i my, my routine is to brush my teeth then tongue scrape and then do tooth terrain and that's always my favorite part i love the hour or so afterwards that my mouth just feels so clean and nice and rejuvenated after taking that product and the flavor of it really is uh, for me it's nostalgic but I've i've never tasted anything that's hit exactly like that it just tastes like I, I don't know i don't even know how to describe it, but i really do enjoy it yes me too and it's also the differentiation from other products you know they they use essential oils but they use it in such strong strong yeah. uh, concentrations that actually you know it's it's almost like uh some of the alternative products they are competing with with the conventional uh, yeah. products that are designed to be strong you know, maybe you, you remember the ad of Listerine uh, many years ago where someone was having mouthwash with string and suddenly they created this boom effect in the mouth. Yeah. And that's actually what it is. That it gives the association, well, everything is killed off. Nothing can happen to my mouth anymore. We, you know, but it's so, so wrong. Yeah. And it's still <laughs> always often, you know, the, the, the research that is out there is often, uh, they align with that sort of philosophy. How can we put alternative essential oils into the product uh, that are killing off the bacteria just like Listerine is doing? And, and that's where the research is going, you know? The, and so they put tea tree oil, which is very antibacterial, 
and they did the research is it comparing there are comparison studies out there is it comparison uh, in comparison doing the same as let's say chlorhexidine or one of the chemicals that they use and then they are happy that it's doing the same but that's what we want to get away from exactly that that philosophy and that's i think what we achieved very well yeah you know i think from a formulation perspective the thing that i'm most pleased about which doesn't happen with every formulation was that regardless of the medicinal stance whether i look at this from ayurveda or tcm or western allopathic medicine or more alternative terrain type theories it's an effective product in the way that it's formulated it works for all types it's designed for every different constitution it's not too heating, it's not too warming, it's not too cooling, it's not too drying, it's not too astringent, it's not too damp, it's not, you know, it doesn't have any of the, it's very, very, very well balanced and it works from, from all different angles. So yeah, I'm, I'm pleased as pie about it. And I think, you know, I've been telling everybody since you sent me a product and said, mm -hmm. hey, yeah, I thought you might like to see this basically. I uh, have been telling everybody about it, and I think that it's it's a product that I think belongs in every single person, maybe with the exception of a few folks who have some allergies to some of the ingredients. But aside from that, I think every other person who is not allergic to this or has uh, no other contraindicated uh, reasons for not taking it, sh this should be part of the oral routine. And you as a dentist, I'm sure that you would feel the same way, although you are biased. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm a bit biased logically, but yes, I'm, I'm I'm thrilled about the product. And look, the feedback, and I've I've supervised a few patients now, and they are now we are at the point where people are reordering, so they they are happy about it. And what I see, you know, like I have patients who have a dry mouth, you know, and dry mouth. We talked about saliva, saliva. Dry mouth can happen, you know, for many reasons. Some people have Sjögren syndrome, which is, uh, you know, when the salivary glands are not functioning or they take medication that cause dry mouth or some radiation ther therapy yeah. uh, to the head because they've got cancer uh, for all sorts of reasons. And these people are really debilitated. It's not just about their dental health that is tanking. You, you see these poor people, they, they develop dental decay like in a rapid kind of manner uh, because of this non-protecting uh, function of the saliva anymore. So uh, that's why it's so important to have the saliva going. And uh, now this is the, the, the product. I just show it. You can see we uh, put a lot of attention into the design as well. And we had a fabulous friend who was designing it for us. So that's the product. Yeah, well, and this is really cool, guys. For those of you um, who don't know, the vast majority of my work over here is making some products for white label clients. That keeps us really busy. That usually keeps the lights on over here at the Research Academy. Um, what we sell in the apothecary is fantastic, and that's really icing on the cake. But what keeps our doors open every single month is um, a lot of our, our white label clients. And for most products, I produce those in house for a product that was oil based. I'm not set up to, you know, hold and store 55 uh, gallon barrels of oil and all the other things. So I told them, you know, we're going to have to look at uh, some other fulfillment. And these guys have taken it on. Uh, I think that that deserves an enormous applause because it's not easy like you did, Dirk, to take something from an idea and go all the way through production with it and to bring it to market the way that you have it's brilliant it's beautiful you guys have put so much time and so much work into this i am glad that people are responding to it with with the type of energy and enthusiasm that uh, you and i had when we were working on it and developing it together this is it's an awesome product those of you who uh, follow my monthly uh, lab updates will know that I had been talking about this project and was like, oh, guys, I have this project. It's not ready for me to talk about yet, but I'm talking about it now. We've got uh, Dirk here on the line with uh, well, how awesome it has been. So, Dirk, you, thank uh, you. Well, well, let me just say something, Phoenix. Thank please. you so much for your kind words and thank you so much for your help. It absolutely would. Uh, I mean, the, you're the only person that would be able to somehow knock it off and, and uh, produce this product. And we are so, so thrilled to have you had uh, done it and to have you on board with it. 
and uh, to deliver this wonderful product. So thank you so much, Ian. You're you're very welcome. It's been a pleasure, and you've been so responsive. And and every time I contacted you and your explanations, your your emails were so descriptive and so long. And I, we were always thinking, wow, he's putting so much effort. He's really into it, and he's giving it so much attention. And it's just wonderful to work with you. Oh, so well. Who wants to work with Phoenix? Uh, go ahead. He's making wonderful products. Uh, that is really kind of you to say, Dirk. And for those of you at home, um, don't pass up this opportunity. Seriously, get some tooth terrain. This is me telling you at home, like, do this. <laughs> do yourself a favor. You are going to enjoy this product. Test this, but definitely hop on the website, get yourself a bottle, let us know what you think. Now, Dirk, you had recently mentioned in an email, just kind of in passing, so I don't have all the details about this yet. Um, that you had been going around and kind of uh, talking to people about this or giving some sort of presentation about about mm -hmm. this what what are what's kind of some of the feedback that you're getting about the the product as you're doing that yeah very good excellent people are thrilled and we're selling a lot of products at these talks because people are curious they want to know about it and they are convinced they they uh, you know when i explained a little bit what we were talking about today they feel like, wow, that's that's excellent. That's what they want, you know. Uh, they they because see my audience when I give talks here in in England, they are kind of you know they they are a little bit awake to what's going on in the world. So we we get people who are a little bit critical about what's going on in the world, what's going on about the health system, and so they are open to and they are curious. They are they want to know about things that are. Uh, a bit alternative and uh, not presented from mainstream media and from mainstream dentistry and uh, medical from the medical system and uh, it's very encouraging especially here my experience in in the southwest of england how many people are interested in see i'm i'm giving dental talks although i'm coming more from a holistic perspective but those talks are full and i'm just like i'm thrilled that people are listening to i mean of course it's mostly about dental uh, how faces are developing, how, you know, like the, you know, I'm talking a lot about of ancient people, how they have stronger jaws and better teeth and, and how mouth breathing comes into it and it, how it all starts uh, from, from actually from before birth, because we know now that, for example, even before in old cultures, like the Maasai uh, warriors, they have nutritional food, especially uh, designed for yep. couples who are going to marry so that they get the right building blocks before they get married and before they uh, they get fall pregnant and within the womb you know we know that vitamin k2 for example is very important for for things like proper facial development and uh, we in the western society we are lacking all of that and people when I give my talks about all these things, people are just so hungry for that sort of information because it, it's also a life changer often for them because they had no idea. I didn't have an idea about all these things before I really went into the research myself. I was not taught that in dental school, of course, you know. They, 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 yeah. So I had to look uh, for this, this sort of information myself. But yeah, so the feedback for this product is just excellent, just excellent. Oh, that's cool. Well, we're quickly running out of time over here, but uh, before we go, I want you to have an opportunity to tell everybody how they can get a hold of you, Dirk. You offer consultations through Dental Decoded uh, and you do different things like that. So maybe you could tell people a little bit more about that um, right now and how they can get a hold of you uh, if they're interested. Yeah, thank you, Phoenix. So Dental uh, the Tooth Terrain, toothterrain.com. Uh, that's where you can order the Tooth Terrain. Oops. Are you still there, Phoenix? Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. That's two, three. And then I've got my own uh, online business, which is Dental Decoded. I touched on that. So it's for people who are, you know, like I, I get many people who uh, feel the need to discuss their own dental issues apart, away from their normal dentist uh, in a kind of relaxed way uh, where they can. I'm a bit like a dental confidant where they can share their experiences, where they can share their, sometimes people are traumatized, some people uh, just want to know what should I do, you know, I've got, for example, I've got this quote from a dentist and he wants to take out all these 
uh, fillings wants to place some root canals and implants but i'm not really com comfortable with that sort of solution so are there alternatives and uh, we can discuss all these things and people come out of this session often like a relief that uh, they find uh, either confirmation of what their dentist is doing or that there are other ways to go about it that might be even uh, more aligning with their own philosophy and with their hip pocket as well and i've got uh, videos and uh, interviews on my website and i put up more and more uh, videos that i produce about dental health and subjects in particular so please visit me on dentaldecoder.com and uh, if you want a consultation you can go through the through the procedure on the website and i will get back to you if you have x-rays at hand that would be very helpful too cool too cool well do you have any final thoughts uh, for anybody listening dirk uh, no, uh, again, Phoenix, it was wonderful again talking to you and I'm so thrilled that uh, we had this conversation and hopefully we can find another product one day, maybe a toothpaste or something that we can work together on and uh, yeah, that was great and I can see just if I look at myself, it's getting dark around here in, in England and Yeah, I should switch on some lights now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's time for you to go get ready for the evening. All right, exactly. well. Dirk, thank you so much. All my love, as always, to you and Laura. You guys are just so wonderful to work with. All my many blessings to you and to everybody who is listening out there. Many blessings to you as well. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, if you want to have uh, Dirk back on to talk more about uh, dental questions, feel free to leave questions that you might have in the comment section below. We would love to have him on the show. Uh, again, he is just a wealth of information. If you visit his web, well, I should say when you visit his website, dentaldecoded.com, uh, you can take a look just by watching some of his videos, just how much is locked up in that noggin of his. So uh, at any rate, again, thank you guys so much for listening. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, points of contention, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks again for listening. And until next time. Mm -hmm.